Good morning, guys. As you can see, I have Journey back. Um, Journey is not fixed, but I got Journey back. Um, we're gonna go into all of that. I just wanted to let you guys know that I did. I woke up this morning and I cried a little bit, but you know what? I then gave it to God. Um, I just been like managing my stress and everything i've been you know trying to cope and deal with it i am sipping on some don qua it's d-o-n-q-u-a-i um women's tea so um i've been trying different teas and to see you know if they will help me with my different symptoms um, so I did get journey back yesterday after going through all of that with the dealership because they wanted to charge me the $230 and didn't tell me all what was wrong with my vehicle. So, um, I find it to be very crazy and, th and this is what I'm saying because everything that's going on in my life. All I can do is smile about it at this point because I've been worried about it. I've been complained about it. I've cried about it. Now, the only thing I can do is let it go and give it back to God. So, the visor, well, let's go back. When I called and went up to take five, that was who I got my oil changed through. Um, they asked me for information like you know what was what were they saying was wrong with journey how much it was going to be where was journey at and the advisor's name so i gave him all that information because they were saying that i would need to do a club a claim so the advisor over at dodge called me well actually she texted me and said that journey was ready and that they had the report Okay, so rewind back to when uh, they first looked at Journey and told me about the oil, the engine oil cooler, and that it was the mistake of whoever did the oil change. So, what was kind of crazy about the whole situation is because in her text she said, Oh, upon further review and um, investigation, we take five couldn't be um responsible for your oil uh for that problem because the leak was down lower she said take five right i never told her the name of the company where i went and got my oil change i just told her i had an oil change and i know that take five contacted them because they asked me for the information so I guess take five contacted them and they do what businesses do take up for one another so now she come back on her word and saying that it's not their fault so i have to pay for that and at the time i was upset but you know what after everything that's been happening in my life and everything that's still going on i couldn't even be mad because it's like i'm at a standstill right now in my life it's like all anything bad I'm not gonna say anything because I don't want anything else to happen, but it's like all bad things have been piling up on me for the last couple of months. So I wasn't even shocked by that. Like, it's just crazy. Like when I tell y'all, a lot of stuff has been happening. A lot of stuff has been happening. Like my always been peaceful household, like been having problems. Like I said though, my garage door, magically just stop working so now it doesn't lift up and down journey having problems the app that i do for my nursing usually still ain't went through i've been putting applications in at different places to try to find work uh to try to work or whatever nobody's calling me back um i haven't been able to do delivery dr driving delivery because journey my Etsy shop, I haven't been making no sales. I, I haven't been getting many views on my YouTube. So, you know, I was getting a little something for that. And, you know, 
that has decreased because I haven't been anywhere. I haven't been able to do anything. It's just a lot like, and then my health mentally and physically has been going haywire. But all I can do is laugh right now because it's like, it's a test. And I gotta stay, I just gotta sit still and wait on God. Like I'm a person that my life is always good. And I wouldn't say perfect because everybody got things, but I don't really never have any complaints, never have no issues. I'm just always living a life, like a routine life. The same thing happened over and over. And these last two months have turned my life upside down down but all but in all of that you know i woke up like i said i cried this morning but it was just a, a brief cry and then i was like you know what i'm gonna suck it up because i'm not gonna cry and then i just was like i'm gonna get up and go sit in journey and right now it's 81 degrees in here i think when i got in it was like 77 so it didn't gotten that warm but when i got in journey yesterday it said it was a 100 and I think 15 or 20 degrees and it had gotten as hot as 125 in here so um i just came out here to sit in my peaceful place because like i said this brings peace and and um i'm gonna go over like what's wrong with journey and <laughs> you guys gonna see why i'm laughing because the oil cooler or the oil cooler um Dodge was going to charge me $1,100 to do it. Thank God I got a, uh, we found the new mechanic and he lives kind of far from us. He lives like, um, maybe an hour away, but he's been coming and he's on his way now to come and fix the oil engine cooler. And I think he's charging, I think $400. And so here's the list of what they gave me. And I did buy the part on Amazon. So the list of what they gave me was... <laughs> I cannot make up this life, y'all. I cannot make it up. Okay, so they're saying um, this is all without tax. So you would add in tax. So the engine oil cooler was 1073 and like I said, add tax. Transmission cooler lines, they say they're leaking. And they charge them $457 for the transmission cooler lines. And I purchased those lines already on Amazon for $30. And they should be coming in. So once I guess they do the transmission cooler line leak, then they want to do a transmission service and that's going to replace the filter and fluids and that's $375. So for the transmission uh, leakage, I guess that's looking at about $860. Let's estimate $860 for that. So they said my rear motor mount is broken, my right motor mount is broken, and my front motor mount is broken. So the rear... It's, they're saying 365 the right 365 360 and the front is 543 <laughs> so that's another what um five thirteen hundred dollars and then now they're saying i need rear brake pads and rotors as low as 646 dollars and front brake brake pads and rotors as low as $543. Um, I need to get a brake fluid flush, which is $200. Injector service, $200. And a coolant flush, $200. So I called the mechanic and I'm like, okay, this is what they said was wrong with Journey. And he was like, wait a minute. That's that... I got, let's, let me check that out. He was like, to have all your motor mounts supposed to be broken. He was like, um, I can understand if it was like a seal or a band on it or something that may be broken. But if they're saying they're all broken, he was like, that's very uncommon. So he said he's going to check that out. So I don't know even what the total is if I was to get all this stuff done. But I haven't been anywhere because the engine oil coolant and also, if they're saying it's a transmission uh, 
line leak those are very important and i don't want to be driving anywhere um so like i said he's coming this morning to fix the engine oil cooler and i got the part for the transmission line already and it's supposed to be coming today he wants to come and do the work today which i understand but i'm like i want it all done because even if um even if it is that i'm going to try to go somewhere this weekend i was supposed to be getting ready to head out but you know i just gotta wait i got i just have to sit still and wait like i just i don't know i just get frustrated because it's like every time i plan something and i can't even work i haven't even been able to work to bring in no money or no income like that's just a terrible feeling and i'm like telling my husband i'm i'm gonna go to work like i need to get some money he was like no you know you don't need to go to work just wait until you normally work and you know do your little seasonal work which i work from december to may doing my heat is nursing but all in all uh with everything going on i'm still smiling because i know that i'm 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 healthy i know that i have a roof over my head i have food to eat and i'm in my right mind i might be going through it but i'm still in my right mind because there's some people walking around here that don't even know their names um like some stuff has been going on in the household but I still, you know, have the love from my children and the love from my husband. But uh, everything else is going to work out when it, it needs to work out. And I just laugh because this is all a test for me because I haven't been through any hardship, any problems in so long. I guess it was just time, like time to test my faith, time to test my strength, time to test my courage, um, you know, my durability um and i'm gonna make it through like that's what's crazy is because i i i do get worried and i do cry sometimes but i know in the back of my mind that he god has never failed me like he's never failed me yet and he's not going to start now it's just discouraging because i'm i'm kind of spoiled i guess i want my way i want to do what i want to do when i want to do it and it ha and it hasn't been that way over the last couple of months but um i just wanted to bring a little positivity to you guys because no matter what you're going through you're not as low as you could be and when you're down there's no way to go but up so i want you guys to stay blessed and you know don't give up you know it might you may be struggling you may be having a rough time but you know tomorrow's a new day tomorrow could be a better day and eventually you are going to going to get better and things are going to get better for you. you just got to keep holding on and with every problem and situation you gain a little strength for that you gain a little more strength a little more knowledge a little more understanding and sympathy for others so you know saying all that i know that i have a big blessing coming and i'm still blessing others in the process of me going through i'm blessing you guys um the best i can right now you know i can't get out and about but i can speak a word of positivity to you i can send a few dollars to somebody if they're struggling even though i don't have it but i'm not broke i have a few bucks and those few bucks i can share with somebody else i just want to thank you guys for you know your love your support being there for me pushing me when i i want to give up pushing me when i'm down pushing me when i'm crying um uplifting me encouraging me like all of that like it means so much to me like i will never forget this and i just want to thank you guys for it all and you guys have a great rest of your day and a wonderful weekend until next time i will talk to you guys later Bye bye